home Israel, most high in Christ bless. We over here at JFK about to board the airplane. Hit Ghana for the first time, I think in the history of Israel, that the prophets of the most high touched Ghana. All praise to the most high, I'm able to make this trip. Lord's will, it's a successful trip. Shalom. At night, we go around the first animals we have in the reserve. Also, the name Kakum is a river. A river that has been used about 100 privileges. That's around the first. That's including Cape Coast and Elmina. Also, in Ghana, Last ladies are mostly being owned by the traditional chiefs. So the Kakum Conservation Area is being owned by six paramount chiefs. That is Abra, Denchira, Chufo, Asuna Atandanzo, Asuna Apimeni, and the Asuna Futuakwa traditional area. So they made the Kakum Conservation Area. Also in 1907, that was when the first conservation law was passed. And it banned the cutting of young trees in Ghana. So it's then this park was laid. So the area, like a conventional park, became a forest reserve in 1931. And later, at the of Jared Kakum, that was 1935. At conventional park, we have two major attractions. We have a kind of walkway, we have a nature walk. As we keep it moving right on, it's time to face it. So hey y'all, let's, let's start going to the left. Too many people right here. Yeah. Don't go to the left. <laughs> Sounds like a party, brother. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, we got to make a left. Hey, hey, hey Zeph, just a second as your seven right, verse seven. Left. Yeah. The kingdom of heaven is hey. like a narrow path so that only one man can go through at a time. That's right. That's some nervous right. stuff. I thought it'd be more sturdier than this. Yes. <laughs> I feel like Indiana Jones. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That's gonna be emotional. I don't think you brothers understand what you're gonna see out there. You know, when you walk through the castle, it's got the, um, the female dungeon, the male dungeon, 
and when you walk through the stench, that smell is still there from like 400 years ago. It's like that smell never, it's never gone. The Most High set it up whereby that stench is still there. It's scary, it's scary when you go there. You know? It's um, been yeah. there before. Yeah, I've been there. I nearly cried when I went there, bro. Especially when they take you to like the door of no return. You go to that door of no return where you see that final door they go through before they walk through along the coast onto the ship. Man, Are that's you gonna let us see all that? Yeah, yeah. We record it, we'll see it. Man. You understand what I'm saying, right? Shalom Israel, Most High and Christ bless. We're over here in Ghana. We're standing in front of the Almina Castle. This is one of the prominent slave ports on this island. And there's many more slave ports, but this one right here was the largest slave port, which was constructed in the late 1400s, around 1482, all right, by the Portuguese. Then it was later taken over by the Dutch, and it finally was completely taken over by the British. All right, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna give you guys a tour on what our forefathers went through. Shall we observe a moment of silence here, please? This became the room of no return and this was the door. We came in freely, but we were in chains 10 to 15 in a row. So you cannot walk faster, faster, until the chain will let you go. When we were trading gold, the door from this very point to the other. But when they started the slave trade, they narrowed it so that it contained one person at a time. In the early days, the sea was stuck in the castle by the task we received. Hey, Shalom, brothers and sisters. Most High in Christ, bless. This is yours, Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. We're here in Ghana, along the west coast of Africa, and we give all praises to the Most High, and we give praise to you as well for helping us to get to this location. It ain't cheap, Israel, so we thank you for all your donations to help us spread the gospel near and far according to the scriptures. Remember what Christ said, when this gospel is preached throughout the earth, then shall the end come. And the truth is being taught now. All praises to the Most High, Israel, so you stay tuned and bear with us. Shalom. Hey, Shalom Israel, all praise to Most High God. Now, as you all see, we're in Ghana doing the works. And we want to thank Most High God to, to giving us the opportunity to, to, to do so. Because if that was not because of Him, we would never be here today to be able to push the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Then we want your leaders in other camps to follow along and do the same. Because more work we do, then we can get out of here more quicker, all right? Your guys stop being hate. Just, just follow, all right? All praise to Most High God. Right now we're in Ghana. We're doing the works. Your guys step up your game up, all right? Shalom. Hey, Shalom, Israel. It's me, Bishop Kanai. Uh, here in Ghana, on the way to Kamasi right now to go teach. Uh, so far, it's been fantastic. Uh, Most High's moving us onto a different level. Uh, seen a slave garrison yesterday, and really, it was heartfelt to see where we came from, where we are now, and where we're trying to get back to. So the people right now are receptive to the word. Uh, we do the people seeing where their spirit's at. They believe in God out here. 
but we're trying to reach those that understand that they're the Israelites. We know that there's a separation between the people, between Ham and the children of Israel, but if Most High be with us, give us the spirit to bring on this word, hopefully we'll reach God's children and leave a mark. I-U-I-C, leave a mark on the earth. For this school, it's uh, a mission school, yes. and uh, we will, as much as we want to welcome every missionary to our schools, we need also to inform our authorities about it. But at the time that uh, the message came to me, it was a little bit late, so I just um, asked that you come, you come on and uh, disseminate what information you have to uh, our children provided the word that is provided provided it is built on the word of god the bible if it is built on the word of god the bible we don't have problems the bible or the word of christ is like a tree with so many branches and the small branches all fetching out the need for the tree to grow well so provided it's built on the word of God, we don't have a problem. So we'll be there, we'll, we'll, we'll come to listen to you and we'll, all other things we will we'll discuss after that. Thank you very much, sir. Very well. Thank you. So I think I think they've set up the speakers now and yeah. everyone's ready. Yeah. Plus to go on. Yeah. Yes, that I'll say yes and I'll say to you which have just a small number of people. Mm. After this I'll finish the mission. But in the next time, if you want to come, you bring us a document, you bring us a letter, then we can also um, talk to our bosses. That's why the fact that I'm a headmaster here, I'm still working for somebody. Yeah, then we can talk to him. More so that it is a Christian organization. Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you. You're welcome.
And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. I look out the window, I see the dust of the ground there. What color is the dust of the ground? Brown! Dark brown! It ranges from light brown to dark brown. You're never going to get a European out of that. That is a lie. They have lied to us for centuries. Centuries. We are in the Bible. So, the translation would be, and the Lord shall bring thee into bondage again, again with ships. With what? With ships. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We would go into bondage on ships. I didn't know this was in the Bible. I never knew this was in the Bible. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. By the way Moses spoke unto us that we did not believe Moses. Go ahead. Thou shalt see it no more again. You would not see the greatness you once had. Moses said you will not see it. Your race as the Israelites, you would not see that no more. Your homeland of Jerusalem, you would not even see that no more. We And there, once you got off the ships, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You shall be sold unto your enemies. It didn't say sold to your friends. Sold to your enemies. Go ahead. For bond men. That means slave men. And bond women. Slave women. Go ahead. And no man shall buy you. When it says no man shall buy you, it means no man shall be able to save us from the conditions we're in. That's why in time you had many great black leaders rise up. They all failed. They all failed. They're not the savior. Next slide. So these are the ships Moses warned us about. We didn't believe Moses. We said we're going to slavery on ships. Moses, you're crazy. It's never going to happen to us. We are so great. Moses said, I'm warning you. Okay, all right. This is what happened. We were sold. Look, here our here, here is who we had. We were sold to look at our sons and daughters here. The little girl with the little skirt on, the little boy, the mother. And they called us Negroes. The word Negro is Latin, it only means black. It's just like the Latin word more. It only means black. It never identifies your race. Because when we were throughout Ghana, throughout Africa, we were broken up in many tribes. But God gave us a name. He called us Israel. Uh, from the first speaker, he, he, he did talk about um, the white man coming down to enslave us and to steal. Uh, take away our property, our gold, etc., etc., including our human resource. And they make reference to the fact that Moses did more that they will come back and take us in a ship or in ships. This is practical. If we go down to uh, Elina, we find the church up like this, the church, <coughs> which the white man brought. And the white man brought that church by ship. I wanted to look at the two sides of the coin. The white man brought that up, which is the church, with a big cross because of Jesus Christ there by a ship. And below that church is the dungeon where he captured my grandfather put there and sent him to the West Indies to go and work on the plantation where he captured my grandfather put there and sent him to the West Indies to go and work on the plantation yeah, the West Indies. Yeah. So the Caribbean. Right. So we need to teach this. So to and, to and, teach. and I go down to Elmina, I see they have food. That's why I, I will always want, I will not want my children to go for an excursion to Elmina. If you want to go to an excursion to Elmina, I would rather put you in the butterfly. The, the, yeah, because it's, 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 it's crazy when you go to see what the white man the white man has built the place, he has put the church up there. It's a big cross. 
and then the steps moving down. If you move down, you think you are going to. Yeah. You enter the uh, dungeon. The dungeon of uh, no return. Yeah. And it leads you straight into the, sh uh, what? Yeah. the ship and the uh, 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 sea there. No, it's, 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 the mentality is crazy. Mm -hmm. That man who has brought the Bible coming to teach us about salvation. <laughs> <laughs> now, he has, when he was coming, he has brought wine. He has brought all the champagnes, he has brought the guns, the gunpowder, giving to our people. Go and bring your own people. They bring them, they pack them down there. He comes there, pile and pick the best woman, goes to have what he wants to have with the woman, and then calls the best. He calls himself a Christian. Yeah. yeah. He calls himself a man of God. Mm -hmm. In the name of God, you come to enslave us and take away our good. Take away everything. Including our human resource, I, I, to me, but to me, it's a little bit of madness. <laughs> yes, and if you go to my town now, it is just we, the young ones who came up and are a little bit educated, getting to civilize ourselves. It is we who have tried to merge up the town. We have Salem, where we have the John, the Nicholas, etc., etc. The men they convert you into Christianity, you have to go and stay there. Mm. And then this place are the heathens, the, the, the savages. Mm. That's what they call us, the savages. Mm. And so one mother, one father, same siblings. This one repents, this one doesn't repent, this one will not talk to this one. Because this man is devilish and this man is a, a, a god. Right. It's crazy. The body conquer. Yes. Mm. No, it's, 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 but, but our job here is to repair that. Sure. By keeping Gaza. That's what we're here for. We're here for. We get somewhere. We get somewhere. We will, we will, we will, we will be in touch. We will talk to our students and uh, once upon a time. Anytime I come, I'll come and visit you. We'll be in touch. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Good man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank in Christ, we you may be our you know, into me, your crab, and not for young, young, strong, natural, no, so in the year, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. And to make a deal with us now, joining our culture center, maybe be on custom for my patch, or yeah, but she's common as it is here. Yeah, okay, so limited registration exercise, yeah, just here, Thursday, and then if we prepare percent or so far, near my AC aircraft, maybe I see a man, she's common as it is. Well, it is United Christ. Uh, we are based, home base is out of uh, United States, New York City, and we have various churches throughout the world. Uh, we started many years ago, and our objective to do is to teach our people the Bible. Now, you have many groups out there teaching the Bible, but one thing they lack to do is to explain to the people who are the Israelites. God has a chosen people according to the Bible. And those people are the Israelites. And we've come through years of research to realize that the Ashanti people are part of that. We are your lost brothers that was carried away captive to the Americas.
It is so glad to meet you. Everybody can stand me? Okay. My name is Bishop Nathaniel, and this is Captain Isaac. Okay? It is so good to be here to meet all of you. We're going to go over some brief history with you. Of course, how many of you are the Bible? You want to read the Bible? All right, all right. Let me ask a question. What color is Jesus Christ? Raise your hand, who knows the answer? What color is Jesus Christ? What? You. What color is Jesus Christ? Some people said white. Black. How come when we drive through God and I see white men, Jesus, everywhere? Why? Huh. We're going to start with the color of, okay, the first man, Adam, in the Bible. What color was Adam? What color was Adam? How do you know he's black? You don't know. Hey, no, no, please, go name to leave one. I don't know if you can answer. Now, I'm going to go to the I don't know if I can use it. I don't know if I can and I'm afraid. And I'm afraid you're one of the devil. What they will say, and the way he's a man, he has to make up in the whole thing. The Bible says, okay, I guess he won't stand it. Why? We're going to start with the first man, Adam. Many of the scriptures we're going to go on, the churches are not going to show you. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. The book of Genesis, chapter 2, and verse 7. And the Lord, God, formed man of the dust of the ground. And the Lord God for man of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? Brown. So the first man, Adam, looked like you, looked like me. Everyone understands that? Eve, the first woman, came from Adam's side. Correct? So you had the black man and the black woman. Now, let's go to the we translate that part. Alright, so when you say that you you are a pastor, right? And I'm pastor, so the simple pastor says, if you are a pastor, 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 if you now we're going to talk about King Solomon. King Solomon, which was one of the great, great grandfathers of Jesus Christ. And it says, "Who in Bible now? We are sure to be in the company of King Solomon. And the Bible now, King Solomon is the great grandfather of Jesus Christ. The Bible now about King Solomon." Song of Songs, chapter one and verse one. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's, verse five. I am black. But come, me, O you daughters of Jerusalem, and the tents of Kedar. So King Solomon said, I am black, but come, me. King Solomon, a Jew, an Israelite, said, I am black. Read it again. I am black, but come, me, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. Hey, I'm going to story of now, um, you preach a police man for a police woman. I don't know how to talk to the police man for a police woman. No, sir. I don't know how to talk to the police man for a police woman. But I would like to come to the house of the one for a spy. But if you answer to the police man, you can't get back to the police man. I don't know how to get back. Some of the house of the one, Bible says, Christopher, no, he's black. He's the one who's enemy. And Christopher, no, he's Jew. Exactly. Now we're going to go to Revelation chapter 1 and verse 7. The color of Jesus Christ. The descendant of King Solomon. All this information is on the paper that we gave you. Jesus Christ, Revelation 1, verse 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Now we're going to read verse 14 and 15. Watch this. His head and his hair were white like wool. Jesus Christ had white woolly hair. You know what woolly hair is? Woolly hair is your hair. You understand? Woolly hair. Woolly hair. The same hair that you have on your head. Touch your head. Woolly hair. Woolly hair. Jesus Christ had woolly hair. Come on. Revelation chapter 1, verse 
one. The car was late in a party, was late in a set of day. But I'm just a set of day. And it is the same, why would I call the color of Jesus? I think Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Revelation 1 14 says, Yes, you can see, if you hear what it is, so let it tell you, see, and you see. I will see. I am interested. For that is my job. I am an evangelist. This, this, all this that you are sharing the voice. Mm -hmm. I, although what I want is that um, people are saved. Okay. So yeah. if yeah, you speak you. about the history, uh, then you give them that Christ is coming, so they should repent, so that they may, they may, they may get saved because people are full of sin. Yes, people are full of sin. All of us are full of sin. This is why we were conquered because of sin it's a judgment you understand so now in keeping god's you know god's commandments what name is it? name what name some okay you must obey your, uh, your father uh, your parents okay. if we want salvation right what must we do to be saved the rules what do you mean the rules let me show you in brief. This is what Christ said. Ah, Matthew 19, 16. Watch this. Listen, listen. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life and in salvation, do what? Keep the commandments. We have to learn the commandments. We've not been taught the commandments. So let us be asked, can you obey the, all the commandments? Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not steal. And look, uh, when you say still not taking someone, uh, not only taking someone thing without a need, mm -hmm. but if this is the word, and the person did not take, speak the truth about the word, the person has told something from God. Watch this. What is the law on slavery? Exodus 21 says, And he that stealeth a man and selleth him, but if he be found in his hand, he shall surely, what does that say? If you enslave a man, a nation, you're going, God says you're going to be So only that then falls to Huh? Only that's that a part of, no, that's a part of slavery. That is a part of But listen, watch this. If I, give me something of yours. Let me see. Take something of it. If I steal it now, if I repent, what must I do? I give it back. So listen, the white man, he stole the country, he stole the people. Did he give it back? Did he give them back? Did he give us back our lands? So those people will be back. Okay, God will destroy them. That's right. They will be destroyed. They will be destroyed. But if I am an American and I am accepted God, you're talking too much. Do you understand that? If you steal a man and sell him, God says judgment is death. The one person did No, slavery was not done by one person. Slavery was all. The British is not one person. America is not one person. The Portuguese is not one person. The Dutch is not one person. Those are nations of people, men and women, who stole us, stole the land, and they say, I'm not giving you back the land, but I believe in Jesus. That's a lie. That's a lie. If I take this, this is yours. I believe in Jesus, but I'm not giving it back to you. Do I believe? No. I don't believe I'm a hypocrite. I'm a liar. I want you to understand that. Because you love everyone except yourself. You have, Christ said in Matthew 15, 24, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of who? Who did Christ say he came from? Jesus said, I'm only sent to the lost sheep of Israel. Let me show you something. Now most people go, I, 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 I reject that. I accept that. You reject it. You accept it now? Pray so. I pray so. I like you. <laughs> now you're gonna give me white man religion now? You're gonna give me something else? A lie? You're gonna give me a lie? <laughs> okay, okay, yes. I am happy about Are you happy? Okay. <laughs> ah man, you know we're gonna prophesy, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
that first word? Herbs. No. Can that poison? That's the other word. What is this? Chicken? Chicken? I don't know what that is. Potatoes? This is all I'm going to eat. What is this? Okay, yes, sir, yes, sir. What is this? This is tomato sauce. Tomato sauce? What is this? Cow, cow. You don't need to eat right now. You don't need to eat right now. Nicoadinin <laughs> Uh, I would love to say we'll be able to participate. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. I find it time now. You know, we share because, because yeah, yeah, as you yeah. know, media, media, some media. You know, it's a long time, media. Me, I yeah, strongly yeah. believe in black man supremacy, and I have been criticizing and burning this uh, fake pictures of Yeshua. No, I say it on air, and people have been fighting here. Yeah. Hey, hey, no! But if you read your Bible, it's okay. It's okay, Peter. Peter, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Good evening. You now act bishop. Hello, hello. Good evening. <laughs> hey, bro, your name and your location. Okay, let's hear you. You come from Virginia. Let's hear you. My big thing, uh, my trouble is this. Um, you see, the Israelites they documented. Every descendant of this. So, even if Nathaniel, now he should go to face his descendants, you can find them. So, my worry is, is, is this. Why is it that I'm not black? Meanwhile, I want to that if you can trace them down to the poor price. So, I don't understand why the current Israelites are not black, but yet you want to uh, ascribe the, the black nation to them. Okay, thanks so much. 94.9. Please, were you clear with that question? No. I didn't hear the question. Um, let, he let was, me he, he, he was he, asking. He, he, hello. He doesn't yeah, understand yeah, the reason yeah, why the current Israelites are not blacks, but they are white. Yes. Oh, but, okay. they took our place in society. They brought us down, destroyed us, so, and they took over. They captured our land. That is you, what we read at uh, Luke chapter 21. 21 verse 24. That's okay. right. Very good. Yeah. Very, now watch yeah. this. Give me Jeremiah 2 and 11. Come on, Isaac. Uh, and the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the for Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 11. Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah t chapter 2 and verse 11. Chapter 2, verse 11. Have a nation changed their gods? Has a nation changed their god? Which are yet no gods? Which are yet no gods? But my people, my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. We've changed the true living God for that which does not profit. That's where white Jesus came from. Read it one more time. I need you to understand this. Have a nation changed their gods? When you examine all nations, nations have gods that look like them. Go ahead. Which are yet no gods, uh -huh. but my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. We are the only race of people who have a god who does not look like them. We are the only race of people who worship our oppressor. This is what Jeremiah is prophesying about. And Jeremiah, I say, because we changed our God. That's right. Start with uh, asking about your 
church or sect united uh, Israel united in Christ can you tell us something about yes it's it's not a Christian organization in the modern sense of the term uh, today's Christianity is a mockery today's Christianity has nothing to do with the Bible whatsoever uh, driving from Accra to Kumasi throughout Ghana you have images of a white man who many of our people think is Jesus Christ with no biblical evidence Wherever we go, the UK, France, Germany, America, here, we challenge the preachers. Prove to us that Jesus Christ is a white man. They could never do it. So, Israel United in Christ is the reawakening of the lost sheep of the house of Israel, the 12 tribes, who fled from Rome in the year 70 AD, ran into the west coast of Africa, remained there, and began to be sold by the Arabs, the white man, and certain other African tribes who sold us to the Americas and Britain, okay? So the Portuguese who came when they set up the castle Elmina, they set up, what is that, the Cape, uh, what is that other castle? Cape, Cape Coast. Cape Coast. Cape Coast. Uh, you also have uh, Fort Judah in Mali, uh, I mean Benin, and you have, you have hundreds of slave castles, dungeons, to capture uh, the Israelites. Uh, we have a great history. Many of the people that remain behind are the biblical descendants of the Jews. You have lost your identity. You understand? So Israel United in Christ, our objective, our goal, is to gather the people of Christ. Christ said in Matthew 15, 24, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Who And Jesus Christ himself is a black man. Can we prove it? You better believe we can. Yeah, I tell for this about what I in our HSA, one more S1, one more N, yes, one more Sabi, one more F3, Kisusum, Emu, now one more HMU, and then say, I kept Kisusumwa, and just say, I park where I said, Yenu, you're not yesterday, and yet Serobi and I yet to. What's one more thing crying? A bar, Kumasi, I won't more Emu say, Ya, 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 Sambo, the Bray, ya, ya, the Etre, yes, to Kisu, then so or cut as you said, Edia, Edia, ne, ya, 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 ni, Emu. Uh, yeah, uh, pictures. Yeah, the yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yes, no, and yeah, yes, Christ, uh, was he yes, Christ, uh, or yeah, be beneath now, one more, and so for an infinite Asia, I'm a one more up to one more, Cassa said, one more, and just say yes, Christ, uh, and for Nino, one more, I don't know, now one more, any entry Bible, now, so the poor woman, one more, and say, you or be any one more, what to me, I yes, ah, Adiano, then to one more, I can say, one more, but to me, edge that Bible, so I tell me, be able to say, yes, Christ, uh, or yet be now, one more etre and one, one more as soon as Israel united Christ alone, and you could be a maca woman a boom. Now, one more edit in you now, and I say, Yeah, cut is ya for two do ya, one more a free is ya, and a domo a bar a bibliomo a ha, now for a baby as ye, ye dear poor and consumo, now ya toy ama a bro for Americans, and a UK for, and no, and no, and I say, say, one more and say. I was say Sabre or Makaka, one more and one a boom, not say a cat kiss or more as some one, one more a jinat, Sadi deal with his war, not for ye a cat kiss or more as some. And Lunti, one more dear, one more and yet a kiss of four, Nelson, one more and one say, It's right for ye and Yapo and a woman a war a pam, one more and not one more and yes to kiss you, a watcher can, Sabre, one more a sa and some and all. Okay, let's move on to uh, this is rightly what the question I was about to ask you i get, i wanted to know whether you belong to the christian uh, religion because in ghana we have these three basic religions christianism islamism and the african traditional religion but you've been able to give us direct answer that you have no uh, 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 connection with the christianity as we have today now you mentioned that uh, uh, you talk about the israelites and you are trying to link the Ashantis and the people of Ghana to the Israel. How true is this? Mm, it's very true. If we could get First First Chronicles chapter six and verse nine, the the Ashantis, not just the Ashantis, but all the people of Ghana, which you're going to find out, you are part of the twelve tribes of Israel. Let's read First Chronicles. Is it first or second? I believe it's first. Six verse fifty nine. Come on. First Chronicles chapter six. Sorry, fifty eight. Verse fifty eight. And Helen with her suburbs, Debir with her suburbs, and Ashan with her suburbs. When you read in the Bible, Ashan was a city of Judah. So the name Ashan was carried until today. When you add the T-I to Ashan, it means people of Ashan, which is found in the Bible. It was a village 
of the tribe of Judah. So you carried that name when you fled from Jerusalem in the year 70 AD. You understand? So now, get me Luke 21 and verse 24. I want to show you that the Israelites fled from Jerusalem fleeing Roman persecution. This is found in the Bible as well as books, textbooks that have been researched by scholars. The book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captives into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So Jesus Christ, a black man, told the Israelites that they would fall by the edge of the sword. This happened in the year 70 AD. And he said they would be led away captive into all nations. Were we led away captive into all nations? You better believe it. In the year 1450, 1621, 1619, this happened to us. So, but a remnant remained behind, which you are those descendants, okay? So now, when you read, there's this book also from Babylon to Timbuktu. And I just want to read this one excerpt from page 121, please. Page 121 from Babylon to Timbuktu. It is the conclusion of some scholars that when the Jewish kingdom of Ghana fell, many of the Hebrew tribes established settlements among the African tribes throughout Central and Western Africa. So the scholars always knew that Ghana was a part of the Jews. They knew that the people on this continent were the Israelites. This has been kept secret. That's what we run into when the white man came. We run into Islam because of the Arabs. We follow white man garbage religion, Christianity. It's all garbage. We must return to what this Bible says before destruction comes. You understand that he made everybody, and he said, I made you people for honor, and you people for dishonor. That's what I'm trying to explain to you, is that when you read the Bible, religion and Christianity has taught you, for God to love the world, everybody, no, God didn't love everybody. God killed nations for the children of Israel. He held back the sun to destroy. He told us when we came into land, kill everybody, kill children, women, everybody. He said, because you're my chosen people, I chose you, but New Testament, Religion, Christianity teaches you now that it's not like that. That we all have to hold hands and all be one people. Name to me in history where you've ever seen all people together. One time, the Tower of Babel, and God destroyed it. He separated the nations. I don't want that. That's why we want with the king. He said, I see little black boys, little white girls. It'll never be. God has never been about bringing a nation together. He was about a set-apart people, a special people, his people, Israel. So the people who are in Jerusalem now that call themselves the Israelites, they're lying. They're not the Jews. How do we know? The Jews are black. They're black. For the heathen are dismayed at them. The signs of the heaven are the stars, the moon. People worship the sun, like in Egypt. They worship the sun god, the uh, uh, astrology. I'm a Pisces. He's an Aquarius. It says, don't be dismayed at that. Look it. For the customs of the people are vain. For the customs are vain or lies. For one cut of a tree out of the forest. Listen up. Judah would be known as the American blacks. It says the inheritance is with the tribe of Judah. Now watch what it says. Verse 7. Listen up clearly. Ain, Raymond, and Ether. Stop. All these are a part of the inheritance with Judah. Read on. And Ashan. And Ashan is part of that. That's where you get the word Ashan came from. They are numbered with the children of Judah. Do you understand that? People think the Bible is a book of just wise sayings and just stories. It says that you are numbered Ashan or Ashanti with the children of Judah. Do you understand? That? Yes. This was written long before you all were born, long before your parents were born, long before your grandparents were born, long before you were called African. You were called Judah.
Hello. Hello, my name is Naneke Asewa. I come from Ghana and I, I met someone and he told me about um, the true image of Jesus Christ and I wanted to learn it and that person told, told me everything about the true image of Jesus Christ. Um, I hope to see you guys soon. I hope you come back to help us with the truth. Yeah. You'll be grateful. Color. Color scripture. Give me first my Bunya Bedi, you're you're elderly. Your elder or that are you see you know uh Israel in Christ, but you're a friend of elder, the child in tea. But someone you know both say elder, you know you should know. No, I just saw Ghana. for Oh, we So, yes, you know, for sure, at the time, at the time, so Ghana. Not Jew for now, we do so we do Ghana, Some of you might be asking right now, why go to Ghana? Why? Why Africa? Why don't you just stay in America and just stay on the internet? Believe it or not, brothers and sisters, Africa uh, has a remnant of our people and the internet is not throughout all Africa. Brothers and sisters in America and the United Kingdom, you really don't know the... When Bible calls America Babylon the Great, I'll say this. It's saying that because it is set up to be able to provide things for our people, nourishment, like it says in Revelation 12, that you're not going to get in a black continent of Africa. Um, not only is the internet not here, the homes and houses is not where you brothers and sisters, where we are in the States or in the UK. So we have to use our um, resources to gather our people in Africa. Um, according to Zephaniah 3, like it says, it says beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, the suppliance of my people dispersed. So our people are here. We have to gather them. And I know some of you might not like what I'm about to say, but any Israelite teacher who is not forwardly thinking about helping and gathering his people is a waste of your time. Some of you ask, well, how do you know the difference between Israel and Ham? Well, it's very hard to tell. And believe it or not, it's not our job. You were called the people of the Gold Coast. Before there was a Gold Coast, we ran from Jerusalem in the year 70 AD into Africa. That's the history. Give me that Luke 21 real quick. I'm going to show you what Jesus Christ said about your history. Luke 21. Luke. Chapter 21, verse 20. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compass with armies. When you shall see Jerusalem compass with armies. What armies? The Roman armies. The white man. When you read the book of Matthew, the parable Christ gave the disciples about the wheat and the tares. Remember, one of the disciples said, Lord, should we go out and rip up the tares? And the Lord responded and said, no. By you doing so, you may in turn tear up some of the wheat, meaning tear up some Israelite, thinking it's a tear. So Christ also said in John 10, my sheep hear my voice, strangers, they will not follow. Our job is to teach the gospel. Israel's going to respond. Israel's going to come. Christ said at the end, the angels will separate the wheat from the tares. The angels will do the separation. Not you, not me. You understand? I pray you do. Here in Ghana, there is a stark difference, a sharp divide between rich and poor. 
uh, there's no blurred lines like in America where you may think somebody has money. In Ghana, it's either you got money or you don't. That's you're either rich or you're poor. There's no in between. There's no middle class. You don't see that here. It's rich and poor. Um, the internet is not um, up to par the way it is back in the States. So the way our mind is now, we're trying to figure out how we can provide internet for our people out here to help them learn day by day. Like you learn in the States seven days a week on IUIC uh, channels. Um, we're looking for a place where we could provide for them to come sit down. Every place we went, people asked us, when are you going to open a church, open a building so we could come learn? So that's where our mind is, okay? And we know that here in Ghana, um, because the, the economy is so bad, because um, other nations reap all the resources, they, they rob the country, the bulk of our people here is poor. So we have a heavy job. We need you brothers and sisters who are thinkers, smart brothers, smart sisters to come up with ideas for us to help our people, not only in the States, but also here in Ghana. Uh, it should never be said that we're spreading ourselves thin because we number the sand of the sea. And with your help, it can be done. Your help and the most high's help, of course. Shalom Israel, Most High Christ bless you. This is Bishop Kanai with Israel United in Christ. Uh, on our last day here in Ghana and Kumasi, we've been here uh, for the last few days preaching the word to all people of the Ashanti, Fanta, and the rest of those uh, native tribes that are the scattered Israelites that were left back here. Uh, fantastic trip, very informative for the people. Um, we've had a response that was overwhelming. We've given out over 20, 30,000 flyers, uh, well received with people, and our purpose is to gather back together the 12 tribes according to Isaiah 11, 11. So uh, in the future, you're gonna see us having a stronger impact here. Uh, and other neighboring towns, those countries to say on the west coast of Africa. Uh, we are not going to be debating about Kemet. We are in Kemet. We are in the land of Ham, teaching the Israelites that was left scattered here. Uh, the Father is using IUIC for his purpose and all things we do. We want to bring honor and glory to his name, asking that you all support us. According to the prophecies found in Isaiah 11, 11, we're looking for the scattered Israelites. We're here to wake them up to the truth. So our plans are to return to Ghana and neighboring countries on the West Coast and continue doing this mission. We've had a response from the people asking for help, spiritual help, and we're going to fulfill that. We've had a young lady that first night we went out to teach, it could have been maybe all about an hour and she was sealed and her fruits began to show that. Uh, right after that, she invited us to her school where she's a teacher, and we sat down and we taught a few hundred of her students. Um, Bishop Nathaniel sat in another school, and we had over 2,500 students. We have a lot of adults also uh, that are receiving the world. They understand, they believe that the white man is the devil, they believe that they're the Israelites, they believe there's a difference between them and Ham, or them or the so-called Africans, and that's amazing. Uh, I wasn't expecting that outpour, but Most High is working the work in this earth right now. So we ask humbly that the Most High continue to use us for His glory to bring honor to Him and His Son. And IUIC are the vanguards right now in this movement. So take stock, pay attention, and watch us work a work with the Spirit of the Most High guiding us. With that, I say Shalom. 
Hey, shalom, brothers. Most high Christ bless you all. Uh, and as you all know, we in Ghana. As you know, we in Ghana. Uh, is, uh, us. What is that? The captain, the bishop, and the, what was that? Yeah, we even have offices willing with us in these trips. But what makes the trip interesting is because we never been in Ghana. Then uh, what we see in Ghana, we see us waking up. Uh, uh, the brothers and the sisters in Ghana by the Spirit of Christ, that, uh, that they're very receiving. Uh, it's not like New York where you're in the street preaching that people just walk by and they don't observe nothing. But our brothers and sisters that in Ghana, which the scripture says, Israel shall be all of the corner of the earth. So we understand these scriptures. Then we here to make the scriptures real. The word of God must be active. And for all y'all who been with us for a while, there's one thing you're gonna realize about our UIC. We are very active groups. We're not that type of brother that uh, they will say things we're not gonna do it. Y'all know that about us. If we say we're gonna we're gonna go uh, uh, if we say we're gonna go throughout the earth preaching this gospel, most likely you're gonna see every year as we add up into our trips. Then your guys who who, who give us donation? Obviously, you see, we're not sitting on a donation. We're preaching the words throughout the uh, throughout the corners, so our people may reflect. They get themselves together. Shalom Israel, it's Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ, and guess what? I told you we would go to Ghana, and all praises to the Most High, He blessed us and made it happen. We're here, and I have to thank you, brothers and sisters at home, the viewers who believe in this truth, and who have sent their donations. I can't say it enough, thank you from the bottom of my heart. All the brothers and sisters, thank you. Those of us who have come here to Ghana, it couldn't have been possible without the most high putting the spirit on you to help us get here. Just imagine. Imagine, how would you feel if you donate your money to Israel United in Christ and we use your donations to take care of two and three wives? Would that be acceptable for you? No, not at all. That would be incredible. That would be wicked as hell. So, again, thank you. The, your donations are being put to good use to fly here and there. Uh, to take care of the brothers in need, to take care of the travel expenses, things of that nature, to preach the glorious gospel of our Lord and Savior. For the resurrection of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Ghana was a beautiful trip. Um, many believers waking up, they want to hear this truth. They want us to establish something here in Ghana. So that's going to be another thing. While we've been in Ghana, we went to several radio stations and we promoted the word of the Most High. We taught the scriptures. And I know what you're thinking. Some of you right now are thinking, oh, they're teaching Africans. No, we're not teaching Africans. We're here for the resurrection of our people, the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? So don't get it twisted. We're here for the Israelites. The radio shows were fantastic. The hosts were believing. And like I said, something is going to be built big here in Ghana. During one of the evenings while we were out teaching, there was a young sister who asked us, he, she said, please, can you come to my school? So uh, we asked, well, how old are the, the kids? We thought she was going to say, like, little toddlers. She says, no, they're my age, between 18 and 25. She said, we need this so bad. So the following day, Bishop Kanai uh, led the charge and the word of God was dropped in her school. It was so unexpected, but we knew it was the spirit of the Most High. 